Well, this is my campsite tonight. Looking at a snow-capped mountain there. And then if I turn the camera around, watch where I'm backing up here. And right there's a lake. Oh, and more snow-capped mountains. <laughs> Sammy, will this do? Will this work? Yeah, okay. I think it's about 71 degrees. Got a chilly breeze in the air. I think it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Good morning. I am camping in the Twin Lakes area of Colorado. But this morning I am going to go into Leadville. I know they have a grocery store there. And um, I think right across the street there's a laundry mat. So today I'm going to do laundry, check out the town, probably go to the grocery store. And I think that's about 20 minutes or so from where I'm at right now. So I am going to probably spend most of the day there just checking out the town and later on come back and check out this area right down here by the lake. I see some campers down there. So I'm going to check that out. What's the name of it? It is called Dexter Point Sunnyside. It says camping. It has a little tent. I'm going to go down there and check it out in a little bit. So I am headed to the legendary saloon here in Leadville. Look at the snow on the mountains. Best Wild West Saloon. It's Leadville's legendary Leadville's legendary saloon, 1879. They serve lunch, so I'm gonna go eat some lunch. Then I gotta go to the grocery store. Well after I walk around. little town. We've got some road construction going on right now. Today I am going to work on my hiking stick. I collect these hiking stick medallions and I've collected them for years. Uh, this was the first one I got Cal Colorado Bend State Park in Texas. Look how faded it is. But I got the stick there too. One of the things, one of the problems is the stick is really, really hard wood. And you try to hammer in the nails that are provided with the hiking stick medallions. And as you can tell, they either break off, bend, or don't work very well. Um, I think I had tried drilling a pre-drill a hole and I broke my drill bit. But I've since replaced that, so... This is how many walking stick medallions I've collected through my journey. And I don't think they're all going to fit on this stick, but I'm going to put some of them on here. And, um, oh look, that's a duplicate. Uh, 
Probably because it wasn't on there. See, this one fell off. Oh, it's broken. So I'll put this one on there and get rid of that one. But anyway, that's what I'm going to work on today. See if I can't whittle down this stack and see if I'm going to need another stick. This one's cool because it has 3M tape on the back. So it helps you place it and stick in place while you're trying to hammer it down. <laughs> the um, pre-drilling's working pretty good. I'm going to have to go back and I'm going to have some nail replacements or some extra nails. So I'm going to go back and repair some of these. I come when I turn on the camera, your expressions change. Silly girl. You were looking right at me, all sad face. Are you ignoring me now? <laughs> Good morning. I have been here at this location for about a week. And it's time to move on. It's kind of crowded here in Colorado. So I didn't want to leave right before the weekend to go find a boondocking spot. So I decided to stay through the weekend. But it's a beautiful place. I'm not sure that I even showed you much of this. So I'm going to kind of do a little tour of just my campsite in the view. Because it's kind of, I don't have anybody right next to me over there. There's some campgrounds or campsites right up there. There's one right next to me, but it's kind of a big campsite and it's kind of secluded. So if you look off into the distance, you can see the lake. That's Twin Lakes. And hopefully I'm gonna do some camping down by the lake. Might happen today, who knows? But I'd plan on going to a stream and camp for a few days, but we'll have to see if it's crowded or not. And then of course, if you look right over there, look at that beautiful mountain with snow on it. I've been watching the snow melt. gonna blow. See how big this campsite is. They're shammy. And right down below this ridge is part of the Colorado Trail. I've done a little hiking on it. goes through this campground. You see it's a nice place. All these pines. But it's time to go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see where else we can what nice campground we can find. Or campsite I should say. Not looking for a campground. <sighs> High altitude <laughs> gets to you. It's hard to breathe. Ready? Go. Go. You can't do it. Oh gosh. You're getting too big where you can't jump. It's a pretty big jump, isn't it? Let's put your seatbelt on. I've been trying to decide if I wanted to buy a Colorado fishing license. I'm 
for non-residents and a year it's like $97 and the only other license that I saw was a five-day license <clears throat> and it was thirty-something dollars but um, I got the book with all the rules and regulations and there's a lot of rules and regulations one being uh, some of the lakes or streams you have to have flies or lures meaning no live bait or any other kind of bait so I don't have any flies and I'm sure I would have to buy certain lures for trout because I don't have any so it's gonna get into lots of money I think of if I get a fishing license let me show you I'm at a day use area it's a fishing I'm on the Twin Lakes but it says fee area seven dollars per vehicle possession limit one fish <laughs> so this is what I'm running into even if you can fish a lot of places were only one fish so I'd have to pay my fishing license seven dollars to fish here and then I only get one fish I think I could buy fish at the store cheaper than <laughs> that's kind of what I'm running into about fishing in Colorado but um, I still may change my mind I don't know yet but right now I don't right now I don't see the benefit other than it would be fun